The Lagos State's Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, has ordered the release of the protesters who were arrested at the Leki Gate on Saturday. They were granted bail to the tune of 100,000 naira each, with sureties in like sum. Now, this comes a few hours after the Lagos CP said he was not aware of any protest or any arrest at the protest against the reopening of the Leki Gate. Uh, joining us now to discuss this is human rights activist Kabil Akimbolu. Uh, good evening and thanks for joining us on Plus News Hour. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Good morning. Good evening. Now, when uh, you good evening. Good evening. When you saw what was happening at the Lekki Gate today, first with the presence of the... You good know, evening. Yes. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Mr. Akimbala, I can hear you. All right, fantastic. So I, I'm trying to ask you, you. Okay, I'm trying to ask you about your thoughts. You know about you know the fact that military men or rather policemen were heavily heavily armed and were at the Lekki Gate today, and the fact that protesters were arrested as well as passers-by. How did you feel about that? Well, unfortunately, this government keep on making the same mistake at the same time, you know, at different times and places. And uh, the, the, the event of the entrances and the Eleki uh, Rula Balu that happened last year is still very fresh in memory. And the uh, one is surprised that we are in, uh, in, a, in a modern society, uh, but the government is running it as if in, in a kind of uh, a totalitarian uh, state. Now, uh, the right to protest belongs to every citizen. The, any government that reaches out um, obnoxious policies must expect a, a reactionary uh, step from the citizens. There is no how. Now, you are saying people should not protest, you are arresting them, you are gagging the press, and so on and so forth. The action of the, of the government is similar to uh, when you are pinching a man, you are boxing him, or you are punching him, and you say he must not cry. When you beat a, a goat and the, to the world, he has to face you. The people have to react to all these obnoxious policies and the right to protest peacefully belongs to every citizen. Why can't they protest? They have to show their, 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 their disapproval of some of the policies of government. And let me tell you, the answer in itself is not an end in itself, in itself but then it's a means to an end. It's a kind of a sign to show the leaders that the, the social order is obnoxious, is disagreeable, it's something that people do not like. Okay. Economically, people are suffering, you, the agriculture, what, or whatever, you have not improved on anything. And now, the only thing you are thinking about is how to open the target and make more money. Why will people not protect? protect? And again, if you look at the uh, subhuman conditions that they subjected the people that were arrested to, you will pity Nigeria. They the them of the... You don't treat them as if they are not human beings. These are the issues. All right. They have the right to protest. Okay, Mr. Akimbala, did you expect that... Can you hear me? Did you expect that the turnout to be this slow? Because we see how Nigerians spoke, you know, eagerly and passionately about this upcoming protest on social media. But then the Minister of Information, like Mohammed, you know, came out to say that the protests were banned. So did you expect that the turnout to be this low or that the police would have heavily guarded the area as they did today? Given what happened last year and uh, the fallout from uh, the event, one would have expected a kind of civility display from, uh, from, from the police or the security agents, agencies. Now, I actually do not even expect did not even expect that people will come out because of the way the play was uh, over uh, populated by security men. I was thinking that people will run away. So by by the, the, the low turnout is expected, I can tell you. Because when you see this scary looking uh, policemen, you will run for your life. And again, given what happened last year, it, it is something that people will, will be scared you know, to do. Many people will be, scared, will be scared to come out. But I can't, the only thing that I know is that this government has failed completely. They have failed Nigeria. The human rights record of this government has been so poor and is getting poorer by the day. And what is not even doing anything. It's a president that will not address the people on issues that concern the people. 
and you don't want them to protest, it is not possible. All and right. now, the, the security agencies know that people deserve, you know, better treatment. People have a right to protest under, protest under the law. You cannot seize this fundamental right from everybody. If you agree bad thing, people must definitely react. And if you are on the, your policies are favorable, until the welfare of people are taken into consideration, until you rebound the economy, you cannot sit down and say people should not protect. As Balai Mohammed, I'm surprised the way he does, because when they were in the opposition, Mulai Mohammed did more than this. But now you see him with sugar go them out, say all sorts of things, even say something that is contrary to what is actually happening that people know to be the truth. Okay. Now, earlier today, the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, said he was not aware of any arrest at the toll gate. That was contrary to several videos that we saw today. But eventually, you know, human rights groups, you know, put pressure on him. They spoke out. They condemned the, the arrest of the protesters and the CP has now ordered their release. But the damage has been done, hasn't it? I mean, their fundamental right has been breached, hasn't it? Now, let me even tell you, first thing first, is there any thing, if the commissioner of police is saying that he's not aware that anybody is arrested, then he could jolly well say he's not aware that policemen are, are at the toll gate. This is it, because there is nothing that will go in the state, but there is no action that can be taken by the police by without the commissioner of police, uh, you know, permitting or sanctioning it. So, and he himself was there in person, how can somebody now arrest without an order? without a permission, without a direct approval from the commissioner of police. There must have been some tacit or express, uh, uh, you know, direction that anybody that does this, do this to him or arrest him. Now, if you have not arrested anybody, how will you not direct that they should release them? So it's highly antithetical to each other. And I want to believe that it's a, a, a kind of funny lie from the pit of hell for somebody to say that nobody has been arrested, that nobody has been molested, that nobody has been got. It is unfortunate that the uh, whole commissioner of police can be saying this. And why the government should come out and do what the people want. The government has failed completely and it must change its gear. It seems to be running out of ideas. The president seems not to know what he's doing again. Now we must choose between, uh, you know, same society and the other one. And Nigerian you know, people are choosing same society. We cannot allow them to continue to do it as business, like business as usual. We have rejected the new order or the present order, and we are not going to allow it. We are not going to sit down and look. We are going to take our destiny by our own hand. Hmm. So the politicians should know that they should do the right thing. Nigerians are so. Okay, Mr. Akumbolu, let's talk a bit about how the police treated the protesters in their custody. You know, you know how they shoved them into the vehicles, how they treated them in the Black Maria. Because we've seen cases, you know, and we'll share some of them during the course of the news about how, you know, the police went to raid, you know, gatherings that way, you know, beyond certain numbers, you know, for breaking COVID-19 protocols. But we saw what happened about how the police, you know, shoved these people People cramped them in Black Maria's without wearing face masks and, you know, subjecting them to treatments that, you know, are not not very nice or ideal. So what are your thoughts on how they were treated? How, uh, you know, how the protesters were treated in police custody? It is, uh, it was, uh, it's highly ludicrous for, ludicrous for anybody to be treated like that, that way in, the, in Nigeria. You know, we pride ourselves to be the uh, the, the, the the best uh, country in Africa or the most populous, uh, you know, black nation in 21st century. The one I watched, if it were to be it the, the correct situation, they were they see some people naked and were telling them to watch down, you know, to face and so on and so forth. How can you do that? The life of every Nigerian is very important. And don't let us miss it here. The life of the president, of the president is as important as the life of a beggar on the street of Lagos or any part of Nigeria for that matter. How can you arrest people, flood them together like a pack of, you know, sardines without wearing face mask, without, uh, you know, in a compacted um, vehicle? It is, it, is, it, is, it is uncalled for. And it is even shameful because I don't know what the perception of people, in, you know, across the world will be that you just arrest people like this. Look at what they did to them. It is very unfair because the fact that you are protesting does not make you to be less human. 
you are still a human being with all the rights and privileges, you know, guaranteed by the law. The way the policemen or the other security agencies have treated the arrested the people or the protesters is, to say the least, highly condemnable. Unfortunately, Buhari, as the president has been saying, he is a reformed Democrat, but we have not seen that. He has okay. been ruling like a military man. All right. Now, we are, it's telling us that we spoke to the democracy. How can you treat Nigerians like this? Okay. Mr. Akimbolu, because of time, I, I want us to you know, wrap up our last conversation here with the bone of contention. We know that the reason why you know, protesters came out today was because of a judgment given by you know, members of the Lagos State Panel you know, of Judicial Inquiry, you know, allowing the Lekki Concession Company to repossess the toll gate and you know, open it again for business. That's the reason why they've come out to protest. What's the way forward now? Well, how do you think this issue can be resolved for all parties to feel like you know, they've reached you know, a, a, a fair judgment or a fair outcome? Yeah, you see, to pretend that there is no problem is a problem on its, itself. You know, in itself. People will say, oh, there is no problem, there is no this, there is no that. But I can tell you very well that uh, it's a simulated piece of the graveyard to say that everything is all right. If the if government should go back to the basics, if they address those ills, if they, are, they, they heal the wounds that have been caused to the innocent Nigerians, if they try to adjust, and make things to be okay if they if they try to identify the problem that you know that necessitated the agitation for answers and try to solve it, then they, 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 they can now be a, a kind of progress. But if you have not done that, if you are done, all you are concerned with is how to make more money. All you are concerned with is how to to keep uh, the lucky to get under lock and key and be collecting money, milking people and extorting them on daily basis, morning and night. There is no how this thing will stop. The ruling of the panel was so disappointing to the people, and I don't expect them to feel any less. Because okay. they were thinking that since the wound is still very fresh, why will you now give an order for the for the uh, for the toll gate to be opened? More so that the panel is still sitting. The panel has six months under the law. The, the we are expecting the, the the recommendation of the panel to be at the end of the sitting. Not when, not in impeachment, but because it concerns state government now, you don't read you you out uh, a portion of the district and so they should open the place. This is part of the thing that I think made people to be protest. All right, and Mr. Akimbo. The state government should do more while the federal government should also talk and address some of these ills and, uh, and the bad uh, you know, aspect of the, of the whole of all. All right, Mr. Akabe Akimbolu, human rights activist, thank you very much for your thoughts on Plus News Hour. It's a pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Always. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.